Welcome back folks, please ignore this. Um, I'm having an absolute nightmare at the moment, frankly, with my skin. Um, if, yeah, just, yeah, just get a, like, I've got two, why have I got two eyelids on the bottom? Anyway, my skin is falling apart and so is this channel, but we are back. So to kick off our Copperberg Battle Royale, we have the one, the only, the classic, we are starting it off with mixed fruit. Now, I do not like this. I think it's terrible. And um, yeah, I don't think my opinion is gonna change. I've not had it in a while because I think it's horrible and I would just never buy it. Even that sounded bad. Okay, let's do this, shall we? Focus, donkey, thank you. God, it's just the colour of nothing. And this is not going to be one of these ones where I just fast forward through me drinking it. I'm actually just going to cut that out because it's terrible. And it's not like I need to pad these videos out for ads because I'm not eligible yet. Cheers, everyone. I mean, it's all right. Overrated as fuck, in my opinion, but hey. Yeah, this is, this is, this is just, it's just a regular old cider really, you know, there's nothing special about it. The notes aren't particularly exciting. What the hell happened to me there? Just use the word notes. Ugh. Um, yeah, it's a bit shit, to be honest. 4% um, alcohol, what is it, a 500ml bottle, probably? I should know, I've drunk enough of these, yeah, 500ml bottle. Um, yeah, it was like two quid, I think, from Tesco's. So, yeah, you know, you get what you pay for. Yeah. <clears throat> There's not really a lot I can say about it. I'm fully aware that I'm not saying much. But it's just so middle of the road, dull and boring. Like, what more can you really say? What more can you say apart from this is awful? And we are gonna throw it up on the tier list. So over here on our tier list, we have our Copperberg mixed fruit. And I mean, it's not terrible. It's not like some of those Desperados. It's better than Skooma. It's better than Jägermeister. It's better than those Desperados. But I don't think it's better than an original Desperado, so I'm going to put it top of B- minus for now. Haha, <laughs> wow, what an amazing high energy intro. Me from like six days ago. Um, yeah, in case you couldn't tell, I really wasn't feeling it for that first one. Um, basically, I don't know if I did this in the last one, but my skin, well, was dry as hell last week, and I don't know why. Um, but yeah, I'm doing better now. This is what I look like first thing on Friday morning. <laughs> so you can tell I was really in the mood the night before when I recorded the last segment. Um, anyway, moving on swiftly and with a bit more veracity. I don't even know if that's a word. We are gonna move on to Copperberg, passion fruit and no, and no focus. Passion fruit and orange. So, I can't remember if I've had this. I can't lie, I think I might have had this before, but if I have, it was only once. Because normally, all they do is passion fruit, but for some reason, I couldn't find that, and I can now find this. Even though passion fruit is still on the Copperberg website as being in production, so God knows what's happening there. But we are gonna get a pour going. That's much more pale than I thought it was going to be, I can't lie. I thought that was going to be a much darker shade, but nevertheless, oh, the camera's not picking it up properly. Anyway, cheers everyone. It's actually quite nice. Yeah, don't get a lot of orange, a little hint, which is all right, but um, yeah, it could definitely be stronger. Um, definitely not just passion fruit though. There is something else here. I really need to wash this glass. 
God. Ugh. Um, yeah, no, this is this is pretty good actually. Good flavour. I was about to say not too gassy, but clearly it is. Goes down nicely. All in all, a pretty enjoyable drink. Um, I should definitely be treating myself to another one of them. Although I probably won't be because I had to walk all the way to my local Morrison's to get this because their selection was just out of this world, including one which is my absolute favourite and I thought was discontinued, but we will get onto that another day. Um, for you, it'll be in about 10 minutes time. But yeah, that's pretty good. Um, we are going to now throw this up onto our tier list as before. So, Copperberg, Passion Fruit and Orange. It was it's definitely better than Mixed Fruits. Uh, I'd rather have it than a Desperado. I would rather have it over Peach on the Beach. Um, yeah. Would I rather have a Woofer Reserve? This is gonna be a tough one. For now, I'm gonna put it I'm gonna put it above Woodford Reserve. Yeah, I think that's gonna be a good spot for that. Um, yeah. So moving on now to our next one, we have this one came as an absolute shocker to me. Spiced Blackberry. Any day now, there we go. Spiced Blackberry. Now this says enjoy warm or cold. I'm gonna be enjoying it cold because I enjoy everything cold in my life, just like my cold dead heart. There we go. Chuck another one of them down and let's get pouring. I said, let's get pouring. Let's get pour. For God's sake, man. What is happening? There we go. Jesus, let's get pouring. Ooh. Now that is a good colour. That is a very good colour. Wowzers, that is dark. Holy Jesus, okay. I'm excited for this. Now I know for a fact that I have never had this in my life. So. It smells a bit strange, but I'm not gonna let that put me off. Cheers everyone. Oh, oh, that is good. That's really good. It smells a little bit like feet, which is concerning. Although that may actually be my feet because I've just remembered I don't have socks on. Um, so take that gripping analysis with a pinch of salt. Um, it really is good. What's the spice with? I'm getting hints of clove. No, I'm not. I'm not getting hints of clove. I'm getting hints of cinnamon, but it does taste like cloves, which is weird. Um, I don't mind it, but yeah, if you don't like clove, which a lot of people don't, um, this may not be the one. It is good though. It's really good. Not as good as my personal favorite, which again, will probably have to be the next one, um, but it is a very good, a very good drink um yeah i forgot to say for both of these um these were like two pound 20 each i think um both of these were from my morrison's um, because they just seem to have an absolute repertoire of these um i came home with six different ones yesterday on top of another two that i got from tesco with the mixed fruits um so yeah this is going to be well it's going to be an absolute nightmare to put into a thumbnail for one this many bottles and i've just looked online i've got at least another two left to buy potentially three um so yeah bottoms up everyone
yeah that's a really strong clove flavor for some reason i may just be having a stroke but the left side of my face is moving about as little as usual so yeah maybe not those are two hitters to be honest those two are really really good um, I would recommend both of them I think I think the passion fruit and orange is has a slightly more mass market appeal just because it doesn't taste like cloves but that's not to say that the spice blackberry is bad it's very good and in fact if we go back to our tier list I think I'm gonna put this definitely above the one I've just drunk personally um, strawberry daiquiri see I can't really this is the thing with me filming one of these videos every two or three business years I completely forgotten what the strawberry daiquiri tastes like but I know that this is good although I don't think it's better so I'm gonna put that there for now that is going to be our current ranking for today. I have now got two open bottles of Copperberg that I need to sink. Thank you all for watching. I don't know why I'm doing my outro. We are less than halfway through. On to the next ones. <laughs> hey, here we are, folks, back with part three of this video. I don't know why I laughed like that and then immediately deaded it. But nevertheless, we are carrying on our soiree. And today we have first up. Copperberg defocused. Why is this struggling so badly? We have Copperberg pear. Now, we're starting to get into the territory of ones that I have had before and I know what to expect pretty much. So, here we go. I don't know why I grips that like a monkey, but nevertheless. Yeah, that is exactly as expected. A perfectly clear, pretty much liquid. Just a slight hint of yellow to that. Here we go. I mean, it's so outrageously middle of the road that there's not a whole lot I can say to it, really. Um, it is slightly stronger, however. This is 4.5%. All of the other Copperbergs are 4%, but this is half a percent stronger. So, you know, if you're looking to min-max Copperbergs, then um, this is going to be the one that gets you drunkest the cheaper. What? You know what I meant. Yeah, it's just bang average, really. Um... Not a lot I can say for this, to be honest. Um, so I'm going to attempt to finish this off in one go. And then we are going to move on to our next one. Take two. <coughs> oh, God, they're so much better from the bottle. I don't know why that is. Anyway, speaking of bottle, moving on. To... What am I doing? What was that? Moving on to the next one then. We are going to treat ourselves to a little taste of the tropics. Hello. What is going on with this lens, man? There we go. I've not got it on manual, maybe, have I? Mixed fruit tropical. So, now, because that snaps back to my bald head pretty quickly. Anyway, pop this bad boy open. So, we have already had mixed fruit, I think. I'm pretty sure that was the first one. And now we have Mixed Fruit Tropical. So, very similar color to the last one, actually. I assume that'll be all the like pineapple and mango and that kind of stuff in it. What is actually in this? Apple cider with a unique blah, 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 blah. What's in it? What does it taste like? Well, it's got a pineapple on the front. It's got a mango and it's got what looks like a passion fruit 
so I'm going to assume that it's an amalgam of those. Cheers. <sighs> Severely underwhelming. Um, yeah, it honestly just tastes a lot like the passion fruit and orange and with a hint of pineapple in it. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's bog standard. It's not great. You know, you're not going to be overwhelmed by it. For as mid as this is, it should not have been so hard for me to find. I had to go to... I think this was one of the Morrison's jobs that I got with um, a whole load of these other ones. Like the passion fruit and orange, the uh, spiced blackberry, all of them. Yeah, no, this is not the one, really, I'm afraid. So, what we are going to do now, as I'm sure you're all aware, is we are going to chuck these up on our tier list. Um, starting with the pear, I mean, it's good enough, and I would choose it over the mixed fruit, so I'm going to put it there at the bottom of B+, and then the mixed fruit tropical, <sighs> for how hard it was to find and how underwhelming that is, I'm actually going to put it below pear, uh, because yeah, pear might objectively be slightly worse, but at least I can go to pretty much any shop and buy it, like, if any shop is going to sell three types of copperberg, it's going to be mixed fruit, strawberry and lime, which I'm fully aware we haven't actually done yet, and pear you know you start getting into some slightly fancier ones at a bigger supermarket but yeah go to any corner shop any um tesco metro any sainsbury's local and those are the three that they're gonna have so thank you i keep doing this outro when i don't need to look just cut to me from like two days from now all right and here we are then for what will hopefully be the final part of this video. Um, there's been quite a few that I've been unable to get, so if I'm able to get my hands on them, um, there will be a part after this. If not, wow, what a shame. So we have a four peat going on right here. We are gonna start off with a classic, and I figured out my auto sensitivity um, adjustment settings were way too low. So now, instantaneous snappy response change. Strawberry and lime we are going to start with. Nope, goes in the glass, doesn't it? Focus. Oh, see, look how much quicker that is. So that is a similar colour to a lot of the ones we've seen before. It's a lot like the mixed fruits. Um, and possibly some of the other ones. I cannot remember for the life of me what they look like now, to be honest. Anyway, cheers. just so refreshing it's just a really really good one yeah yeah that's really good um, you're not gonna regret buying this let's be fair um, it's got more flavor than the mixed fruit it's just it's just better really it's got a nice bit of acidity Nice bit of tartness to it from the lime, and yeah, just a really, really good strawberry flavour. Um, yeah, you're not going to see me complaining about that. If they only have two Copperbergs anywhere I'm drinking, and it's mixed fruit or strawberry and lime, I'm getting strawberry and lime every day. Uh, moving on to a slightly more boring one. We have raspberry. Now, I didn't know this existed until, I say recently, a couple of years ago. Um, but yeah, this one's quite good actually. Extremely similar colour to the strawberry and lime. Extremely similar. Slightly lighter potentially. It's got a really nice smell to it. This might be one of the best smelling ones that there is. It's good. It's good. It's got a lot of sweetness. It's got a very light taste, very light flavour, uh, which is good in in this regard. It doesn't have that um, that tartness, that acidity that the strawberry and lime does, which it does kind of need. It needs a bit of it to sort of balance out the sweetness. But I mean, all in all, this is still still a very good drink.
yeah, definitely not my favourite, but definitely not as um, low down as some of the other ones we've had. I can't really say bad with these because they're all pretty all right. It's just some of them really scrape the bottom of the barrel, um, and some of them taste like they've scraped the bottom of a barrel. Yeah, that's a good one. I'm really going to enjoy drinking four of these in a row today. I've got to go and do shit this evening. And now, anyway, on to one of my personal favourites. This is probably my second favourite out of the lot. Copperberg Cherry. I was absolutely buzzing when they released this because I love cherry. Cherry's one of my favourite flavours. I love maraschino cherries, glacé cherries, all of that kind of stuff, as you can probably tell by my jawline and fourth chin. Again, very similar color, but this one's slightly darker, actually, compared to the uh, compared to the last two we've done and the mixed fruit. Um, yeah, chin chin. Oh, it's just so good. It's just got such a great flavor. I, I can't, I can't cap. This is, yeah, this is, this is brilliant. Um, not a strong flavour like the raspberry, but you get those hints of cherry come through that are really, really good. Again, no tartness, no acidity, nothing to balance out the sweetness. But with this one, actually, compared to the raspberry, this is a lot better. Um, yeah, don't mind me. I'm, I'm a mess. I've just realised. Um, yeah, yeah, bit of a scruff ball today. Um, I've literally just got out of bed and it's what, 2 20 in the afternoon on a Sunday. So cheers everyone. Mm. Yeah, that's the good stuff. Mm -mm -mm. God, I love that so much. And now, finally, we come on to what was the last time I had it, which was admittedly um, 2019, I think, or maybe 20. My favourite Copperberg of all time. Copperberg Spiced Apple. Now, this I'm very excited for because I have not had it in a while. And again, this was my favourite but I don't know if it still will be. So, moment of truth. Focus, focus, thank you. Interesting color. That's coming up as very orange on the uh, camera monitor. It's more like a piss yellow, to be honest. Oh, but it smells so, so good. Yeah, this is top tier. I'm getting a little bit of that aniseed flavor again, like we did with the Spice Blackberry, but this is not as bad. This is nowhere near as strong as it was. Um, you can definitely taste the cinnamon on this. God, it's so disappointing this is my favorite because this is basically just an apple cider with a bit of cinnamon in it. Like there's nothing special about this compared to like, passion fruit and orange or mixed fruit tropical or whatever even the blackberry one's got something else in it but this is literally just an apple cider with some cinnamon in and it's it's delicious mm. it smells and tastes like christmas it's got warmth to it even when it's cold it's just it's just perfect like, there's not a lot else I can say, really. It is a very, very good cider. So now that we have done all of the ones that I have, um, hopefully, fingers crossed, I can get my hands on the other, I believe it's, no, there's six. Oh God, there's six. So, excuse me, but that's part of the course now. The six I haven't been able to find are Rosé. That one I think I'm gonna be able to get because they do still at least make it, or, although I may have to buy a multi-pack of the cans rather than the bottles, um, which is gonna ruin my thumbnail, nevertheless. Um, Rosé, 
Blueberry and lime, that one was so good. I'm, I'm gutted that I can't go to a shop and buy that anymore. Uh, elderflower and lime, that one was also pretty good. Um, what else is there? Rhubarb, that was another good one. Um, Copperberg Black, um, that came out a couple of years ago. It was their like mixed fruit um, equivalent, or dark fruit even. Strongbow dark fruit equivalent. And there should be another one. Oh, crisp apple, which is basically just an apple cider. Um, so I'm not too gutted about that, but some of those I am gutted about because I used to scran them all the time and they were really good. Nevertheless, I haven't updated the tier list yet. Give me a second. Okay, fuck off ad. Excuse me. Don't quote me on that when I finally get ads on this channel. Okay, so let's go let's go reverse order I think reverse order that we did them in so strawberry and lime I mean it's obviously got to be above mixed fruits um, I think I'd put it above both of those two that we've done as well and I would drink it over a desperado so let's put that there you know what that one's going down as well yeah I drink it above those for sure Oh, but I drink it over passion fruit as well. Passion fruit and orange. Okay, Woodford Reserve's going back up. Sorry, I've made a mess of this. Um, raspberry. Raspberry is decent. Um, I wouldn't put it above a Desperado. I'd rather have a Desperado. Um, yeah, that can slot in nicely there. Cherry. Now, cherry is, is elite. Um, I'm going to put that at the bottom of the top of A minus, even. And then spiced apple is is the goat. I mean, it's over the top of all of these. Um, I'm gonna drop it in bottom of A plus, just below XIX first batch. Thank you all very much for watching. I'm doing the outro now just in case. Um, but yeah, if there is another one, um, future me who's editing this, yeah, just splice this bit in at the end yeah safe cheers mate and we are back folks with the last copperberg that i can get my hands on currently copperberg rosé unfortunately it's in a tin which means i had to buy four of these fuckers but nevertheless we are doing it this has also not been in the fridge i pulled it straight off the shelves and came home um, because frankly i want to get this video out of the way um, like and subscribe guys I'm really putting in a lot of effort as you can tell um, yeah decent color you know similar to pretty much half of these that we've had so far um, it smells all right chin chin it's made significantly worse by the fact it's warm and I've just pulled it out of my bag um, but yeah, it's not too bad. I got four of these for 350, which is pretty good. Shout out Tesco Club Card Gang, a gang business. All of that. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing anymore. It's all right. <coughs> it's all right. You know, it's not the worst I've had um, in this little soiree down Copperberg Lane. But you know, nothing spectacular. It's got an average flavour. It doesn't really taste. Of a lot um, I don't know what a rose hip tastes like um, because I don't live in the woods so yeah I can't really judge the flavor beyond just calling it pretty pretty standard to be honest um, so for the last time in this video inshallah um, we are going to throw this up on the tier list um, it is the definition of average which means I am gonna put it it's better than pear. I wouldn't have it over raspberry. I'm going to put it there. And I think we can call this video a day. Um, me, from the last one of these I recorded, do the outro. Yeah, cheers, mate. Safe. Um, thank you all for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this marathon video on every Copperberg that I could get my hands on. Uh, we are very close to 100 subs. Um, at 100 subs, there will be a very, very special video. Um, I'm not going to spoil too much because I'm very hyped for it and I'm probably going to record it right now to be honest. Um, thank you all for watching, please drink responsibly and I will see you all in the next video.